Want to learn how to make the ultimate party helmet? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Hey there everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Adrian. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe because I'm going to be working on awesome new projects every single week. So make sure to go hit that subscribe button. So about a month ago, I was looking around on the internet and I came across the Daft Punk helmets and I've seen them before and I thought to myself I'd really want to make one for myself. So I started doing some research about the project and I decided I'm going to share that with you guys. And this week we're going to start by 3D printing it. So to get started with 3D printing, first you have to go get a model. This whole project is based off a model from Thingiverse from a user called Bendiger, so I went and downloaded it. Then I went and opened up the zip file and I dragged the files that I wanted to print over into Kira. Once you've got the files in Kira, you can take them, you can rotate them around, you can move them and arrange them however you'd like to have them on the print bed. I'll have a link in the description to some other videos that describe print orientation a little bit better and why you'd want to orient certain prints certain ways. Once I had the parts oriented the way I wanted, then I went and sliced the file. This creates a G-code file that you can upload to your printer so your printer can understand how to print your model. Once you slice the file, then you can even take a look at how the model looks in its individual layers. Then just save your file onto your SD card and you're ready to go to the printer. Go ahead and insert your SD card into the printer. And then we have to level the bed. So go and home your printer. And once you've done that, disable your steppers so that you can move the bed around. Then level your bed. I'll have some links in the description to some videos that cover the topic in more detail. Now fire up your printer and you can start your print. Once your print's over, you can use a nice sharp spatula to scrape the print off the bed. Now for one of the most frustrating parts about 3D printing, it's time to remove your supports. I like to use these needle nose pliers to kind of pry away at the plastic, bend it until I kind of create some weak points and then I can start pulling it away from the print. Any little bits that are left, I like to use a pair of side cutters and just start nipping away at it. Then comes assembly. This part took me a little while. I just used a few different techniques, including welding with filament in my rotary tool, some zip ties, and super glue, and eventually I got the whole helmet together. I didn't need it to be perfect, but I wanted to leave as small of gaps as possible to reduce the amount of work filling later. So that is pretty much where we're at with this thing. I got it all assembled. I do have a couple more things that I need to mount up in here like the ear cup and the circuit panel. I also got these pieces printed up and these are the fans that are going to be holding the LED strips uh, on the inside of the helmet. Uh, I already went ahead and glued in some LED strips in these. Uh, this is just a test piece uh, while I mess around with the code and such on the Arduino. Um, in the next video for this helmet, I'm going to be sanding everything, filling it, smoothing it out, and actually getting it ready for molding and casting. So if you guys don't want to miss that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, and I will see you guys in next week's video.